I grew up in a, what I have called, a pretend home. To the outside world, it looked like the perfect Christian family. Mom, dad, four children. And at church, my dad led the music, and mom played the piano, and mom did VBS. But at home, things were very different. At a young age, I was sexually abused by my older brother. And all of my growing up years, my mom was a verbal abuser. I grew up being told I was ugly and worthless. Wish, she wished I'd never been born and began to process that the only way I could get them to love me was to be a really good daughter. And so I got really good grades in school and by the time I was 10, I was literally cooking and doing the cleaning and the laundry and caring for my brothers. And if I could do enough good things, then they would love me. Well, of course, that didn't really work. Nothing really changed in that relationship. And so I was determined to go to college, even though my parents, my dad did not understand why a girl needed to go to college. And so they didn't help me. And so I went off to college, a very insecure, shy, very backward young lady with a lot of inward anger just simmering inside of me. And basically kind of ended up playing the same game that my family did. I knew how to be a, how to look like a Christian. And so at church I was leading the youth group and I was pretending to be a Christian, but in my private life was totally the opposite. Often when you've been abused as a child sexually, you don't really think of yourself as clean and pure. So it's very easy to get in relationships that are not pleasing to God. And so that's kind of where my life was for a couple of years. And during that time, my parents divorced. And even though, I mean, that doesn't sound like much of a tragedy, but for me, it was like, even though the family was so dysfunctional, at least I had a family. But then once they divorced, it was like, I just felt totally abandoned. And during that time, the pastor from our church actually came up to visit me, and he shared with me a scripture in Psalm that I did not know was there. It's Psalm 2710, and it says, when my mother and father forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. And he talked a lot about how I needed to see that God wanted to be my heavenly father. And so at that point, I began to understand a little bit about God's love, but there was still all of this baggage that was kind of interfering with my understanding that he truly, I really had worth in God's eyes. But that verse began to get me thinking more and more about, well, maybe God could love me. And so I had um, decided to try to live a little bit better life on my own. Why, that doesn't work very well when you don't have any power behind you to help you. And so one night I was driving home from work to my little apartment and there was a guy on the radio and he said this phrase talking about the abundant Christian life. And I remember laughing and reaching to turn the radio off. But then he said something that really caught my attention. And he said, I would imagine in the audience that's listening to me today, there's someone that's listening that is very angry at God. And you know, God knows that, but he needs you to tell him. And so he suggested you just get alone in a room and sit in a chair and pull up another chair and talk to God. As God is sitting there, just tell him, give him all your pain. And I just remember stomping into my kitchen and getting a chair and stomping back into my bedroom, sitting the chair down and I let God have it. I just kind of unloaded. It's been a long time since I said this. Just kind of unloaded all that pain on him because I really realized that I didn't know why God didn't protect me. Why did the things happen to me? Why did, why, where was he? And at the end of that time, I just felt a peace enter my heart that I, I can't describe. But that is the point where I listened to the other things that God loved me and He wanted to have a relationship with me. And so after I unloaded all my garbage on Him, I asked Him to come into my heart and life. And so at that point, my life did a drastic change. And that has been something I've been able to pass on to others, that His promises are true and He cannot lie. So when He says, I will never forsake you and I'll help you do that, I know that He will.
because of who he is and what he says.